Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here, and we are ready to dive back into Ultimate General Civil War, this no infantry campaign challenge. But before I do that, I just wanted to talk about something else for just a minute. Uh, you may have noticed that there haven't been many videos on the channel in the last couple of weeks. There's a couple of reasons for that. Number one, my daughter has a new channel. It's probably not something that would appeal to most of you, but it has taken off like crazy. She's called Gory Gaming 24601 and uh, she basically started the channel back in April. And about a week and a half ago, it just went nuts. And she's been adding sometimes a thousand subscribers a day. She just blew by my subscriber count about a week and a half ago. And she's now got more than double. She's getting 50, 60,000 views a day sometime. And so I've been doing uh, a lot of work with her in helping her get her channel going and set up and everything, uh, which has meant less time for me to work on mine. Also, uh, the second thing is we went to New York City uh, the, earlier this week. My family and I, our first vacation in three years, and uh, we took our daughter to see a Broadway show. That's kind of what she, she wants to do with her life. And I uh, shot some video while I was there, Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island, places like that, so you can be watching for that in the coming days. The last thing is this. A lot of uh, you occasionally ask me to play games that aren't really in the historic strategy genre, and I actually play some games on this channel that wouldn't really be in that vein. So I want to explore some of those things and I want to dedicate some more time to that. So this channel will continue just as it always has, but it's going to be more focused just on historic strategy games. Anything that's outside of that realm uh, that I've played on here in the past or things that I've never really uh explored are going to be on a new channel that i just started it's called gamer dad 25 and it's my place for all of those other types of games that don't really fit that way those of you who came here because you like this type of game can continue to get that content without being bombarded with all that other stuff and those of you who like those other types of things and have wanted me to play those things that'll be your chance to do that so there's a link in the description below it'll take you over to that page and i'll show it to you real quick here so you know what i'm talking about this is it it's a uh, gamer dad 25 there's no videos there yet there will be some coming uh yet this weekend and you can watch for those things so if you want to jump over there and subscribe to that channel hit that little bell uh next to the subscribe button that'll give you notifications every time new content is uploaded there and if you haven't done it for this channel please go ahead and do that as well all right, enough about that. Let's dive into the battle today. This is the Battle of Weapons Factory. It's a raid on Harper's Ferry that's part of the Antietam campaign, which will be the next battle. We get to take 14 brigades in. We're going to be assaulting a position that is basically about equal to what we have. So let's take a look. Okay, so here we go. We're attacking a position that's up here, uh, kind of on this hillside. So my main attacking force is going to run right alongside the edge of the map. We're going to come through these woods and push him down this way. I'm also going to send my sharpshooters uh, and my some of my longer range guns over to this side over here to be able to kind of hit them from that side. So we'll see how this all works out, but I, I think it's a pretty solid strategy. It's pretty similar to what I've done in the past with this. I just got to get everybody kind of moving in the right direction and I'll... I'll organize them as we get over there. I don't think he'll have anybody on this side. At least I certainly hope he doesn't. I'm thinking maybe just in the off chance he does, we'll send the Rough Riders over there just as a, a little bit of protection. In case he's got anybody on that side. Of course, attacking Harper's Ferry was part of the Antietam campaign. That was um, part of the whole mess with Lee's orders that were lost and wrapped around a uh, bunch of cigars that were found by some of McClellan's men. <clears throat> Is that that revealed to McClellan that Lee had split his force because he had sent one of his corps over to take the arsenal at Harper's Ferry and the garrison there. And he had to hurriedly kind of reform his army when he realized that McClellan was aware he had divided his force. And those battles like South Mountain uh, were a part of McClell McClellan's effort to 
hit the Confederate Army while they were divided. So he's got all his uh, his force kind of arrayed like here, this, thinking that I'm going to attack this way, which of course I'm not going to do. I guess I am hitting him from here, but we'll get a little closer. And it looks like we're safe over here. So we'll bring the Rough Riders back. please. Thank you. Yeah, we may not have much luck with the sharpshooters down here just because they're going to be out of range of most of these guys. The same may be true with these guns. These are our siege guns here, the uh, four and a half inch siege, siege guns. We're gonna get them set up right down here. I'm gonna push these guys out over here so that I, I'm not getting flanked anymore. One down, one to go. No, Rough Riders don't get don't disengage. This is the first Maryland Potomac Home Brigade. They're coming up this way to try and deal with my melee calf. Those skirmishers surrendered. Let's get them routed off the map. Now we're just going to kind of sit tight and start pushing these guys down. And we'll push them closer and closer to my other units. I'm going to bring this artillery unit over this way more. Actually, both of them. Actually, let's bring King around this way. Because I don't want them to be able to escape easily down through here, which is kind of the direction it seems they're headed.
same with Cutler. Yeah, maybe we'll bring the Rough Riders down. Anybody that tries to escape that way. Yeah, I'm kind of all over the place with my ideas, but I like that idea better. Rough Riders can guard against that along with King. We'll send Cutler back this way and keep a solid line here. Oops. Exposed my flank a little bit there. The king got routed because of it. We've got him about as bottled up as we can get him here. Oh, how'd that happen? Stay there, Rough Riders. Don't get ahead of yourself. about to take the flag and I don't know how that's going to affect things moving forward so I'm not going to take it yet. I'll try to avoid it if I can. Now I've lost almost 300 men. Killing the supply, so that's all right. All right let's try to avoid this flag if we can. I think these guys are sufficiently in bad shape that I can go ahead and send my melee cab in now.
Alright, now we're going to pursue the guys that are left. There's only... 2,400. And they can't get across the river here, so there's really nowhere for them to go at this point. So next is the Battle of Antietam, after which we will switch to the Major General, or not uh, Major General, yeah, Major General difficulty on this thing. But that's going to do it for this battle. A little harder for the melee cab to operate in the woods. There you have it. 248 infantry, I lost 34 men manning the guns, 108 cavalry, and a complete wiping out of the enemy army. I didn't grab a whole lot uh, of any value here. I did lose Colonel Tom Preston wounded, but now we are set up, I think, quite nicely for the Battle of Antietam, which is going to be pretty interesting uh, here on the Confederate side. We're going to go one more time in economy. Veteran cost is now 20%. Uh, uh, let's take a look just at least on the surface as of now what his army is going to look like at Antietam. Uh, 53,886. Obviously, I'm going to be building mine up a lot more because right now I'm pretty heavily outnumbered. And I think no matter what I do, he's going to scale up. Antietam's always been a really, really tough one on the Confederate side. I think it's one of the toughest battles just because of how massive the Union Army gets and how much he scales. So let me know your thoughts, not only on the battle I just fought, but on the one to come. Use that comment section below. Also, in the coming days and weeks, you may see me experimenting a little bit with logos and things like that, kind of giving the, the channel a fresh look. There may even be a different intro in the works. I know some of you who have been with the channel since the beginning feel very strongly about my logo and intro, but some of the newer folks and uh, the folks who maybe have not yet followed the channel have offered a different kind of input, so I'm trying to take all of that into consideration. Uh, so I'll be trying some things out just to see what you think, uh, and you'll see some of that right now and some of it probably to come as well. Um, but let me know your thoughts on any and all of those things, and uh, as I said before, check out the other channel where I'll be doing a lot of non-strategy gaming type stuff. And as always, thank you so much for being a, a follower and a supporter of this channel. It is greatly appreciated, and we'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.